Hi, this is Tom with Connexio, my 20 ELD support team. Wanted to show you a new feature that is a part of the 19.411 update on iOS. If you select either today's graph or any other day, and I'm going to select Wednesday, takes me to the graph and it will show you logs, trip, sign, and share. This is a change. The trips tab is replacing the form and DVIR tab. Those are being consolidated into this one trips tab. I'm going to select that. Right now it shows no trips have been created. Trips can be created either manually with the plus sign in the upper right or automatically when you start drive connected. I'm going to manually create a trip. The first thing it's going to ask is select the truck. Since I am not connected to a truck, all trucks for that carrier are presented. I'm going to select truck 91017 and it's going to create a new trip form. This allows me to select a co-driver. I'm going to go ahead and select uh, Stump Mitchell. Uh, I can add a trailer. I'm going to go uh, just create a trailer number then it will also allow me to add a document i'm going to go ahead and save that this creates the trip trip one it shows zero hours zero minutes and zero miles as i drive on this trip those miles and time driving time will be accumulated in this trip shows a beginning and ending time uh, right now they're the same as records are received the end time will increment uh, and then it also shows a pre-trip and a post-trip DVIR tab. Pre is for pre-trip, DVIR is for post-trip. If the trip is started automatically or if you move the vehicle from this point without doing the pre-trip, that opportunity is lost. Once the pre-trip is completed or the DVIR post-trip is completed, those will show as gray instead of orange buttons on the screen. I'm going to select pre-trip and at this point it's the same DVIR process. It shows the date, the carrier, location, and, and those be keyed in or using the icon to the right, it'll actually locate location for you. Odometer can be keyed in. Once you key it in, go to vehicle. It shows the vehicle number and the trailer number for each of those. And it's the same system as we had before. Select the item, the issue, save it, save it again, go to the trailer, go to fuel system. There's an issue there. I'm gonna save it. And then I go to sign. Once I sign it, I'm certifying this DVIR. In this case, it's a pre-trip DVIR. Now, if you look at the pre button, it shows gray. At the end of the trip, what I would do is complete a post-trip DVIR, and I can enter in any defects that I see, and then I sign it, save it, and then that turns to gray. That completes trip one. If I were to change vehicles or to start driving again, then that would automatically create trip two and so forth all right at the end i can look over here at share and it shows all of my information it shows trip one and start time end time all that information if when i sign it then it will close out the day on today's log hopefully uh, this will help you understand the new trips tab if you have any questions please give us a call area code 865-888-6920 extension 2 for support Thank you.